do not fear failure, but rather fear not trying. Hey guys, you remember it's here with a second try at letting the chickens out with Jim because my internet connection let me down a few minutes ago. So this is like one of those instant replays where it looks like it's the first time, but it's actually the second take. Imagine that. So good morning, Sean. Hey, Terry. So what am I talking about today? It's real simple. Most people never try because they're asking the wrong question. They're asking the question, what if it doesn't work out? And there's a simple way to flip that. Ask the question, what if it does work out? Whatever it is, trying something in your business, setting up a funnel, writing a book, starting to exercise, anything that you can think that people would not even bother to try because they're scared of failing. You gotta ask the question, what if it does work out? And then you also gotta set up the right success metric. And what is a success metric? It's whatever you're measuring to tell you whether you're making progress and whether you're being successful or not. So if your success metric is that, hey, I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna be successful and it's gonna work out on the very first try with hardly any effort and no expense and absolutely no teamwork, and it's just gonna fall in my lap, well, holy crap, you're not gonna succeed. But if your success metric is, hey, if I learn something, if I get better, if I get closer to my ultimate goal, then, then you're successful. So I don't wanna belabor this anymore because it's actually raining out here right now and uh, I don't wanna keep getting wet, though the chickens don't care, but, um, that's something really to think about. So now I'm gonna walk, now we're, we're gonna have the second half of letting the chickens out with Jim is walking back to the house with Jim while getting wet in the rain. So honestly though, that's, it's as simple as that. Ask the right question, which is what if it does work out? What can I learn? And set up the right success metric, which is, hey, if this and this and this happen, that's great. And if anything better than that happens, that's absolute gravy too. So I want to wish everybody a happy weekend. It is the, the unofficial start of, um, of summer, which is Memorial Day weekend here in the US. But I would just ask you to remember the real purpose of Memorial Day, which is not, not barbecuing and going to the beach, but Memorial Day is to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice for us so that we can be free. So when you're burning meat on the barbecue, remember that, that Memorial Day, a great thing, a great saying that my buddy Stu told me, he said, hey, on Memorial Day, you remember the fallen and on Veterans Day, you thank a veteran. So just remember that while you're uh, enjoying the various freedoms that we have. Everybody have a wonderful day, great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.